girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the conclusion of my Invisalign journey. So, sad to say, my Invisalign journey has come to an end. Thank you, Jesus. So, <laughs> last week, I went to the orthodontist and got my attachments removed from my teeth, which meant that I didn't need Invisalign anymore, and I had to switch... To this bad boy right here which is my retainer you hear that that's my retainer in here and it's a bit different than my Invisalign because they actually made this at the orthodontist but in the um, they use the Invisalign they made it somewhere else but this this is all handmade at my usual orthodontist it took them a day to actually do it but for my Invisalign they took longer than a day so this, these bad boys right here, I only had to wear these at night, so. And it took me a while to get used to them because, duh, I had to wear Invisalign, I had to get used to that, so thank goodness, like, whoo. Like, I've been on this Invisalign journey for a year and a half. I started my Invisalign journey in August of 2021, and the journey ended on March 2023, so it was like a year and seven months. I honestly thought it was going to end in February, but nope. Had to wait an extra month, apparently. And it's not the end of my orthodontist appointments either, because in a couple of weeks, like on the 9th, I have to go back to get some reinforcement for my top. Maybe to close my gap a little more, because you see this gap right here? It's almost closed. You don't have to worry about my SpongeBob gap anymore. It's just slightly touched together. And you see this beautiful smile? It's all straight now. Thank God. I can. So instead of me just smiling, you know, like this, I can just smile like this for now. It'll take a while to get used to. I haven't smiled like that in a long time. I don't know if I've ever smiled like that in pictures before. Because normally, for as long as I can remember, I always smiled with my mouth closed, especially when I was in school for picture day. Ugh, that was a fucking mess. Like, <laughs> I hated picture day. I was not, I'm not really good at smiling in general because most, most of the time my smiling can be pretty fake. Unless it's genuine, genuine, like if my smile is like real, then you can make me, then you must probably be making me laugh or making me smile easily, so good for you, but... Smiling in pictures, normally I have to put on a smile just to show everyone I just need to smile for pictures. That's just how it is for me back then. So now I'm just embracing this beautiful smile thanks to Invisalign. No sponsorship. Because I've seen those advertisements on YouTube about Invisalign, how it, greatly it can switch your teeth from crooked to straight. How nice, like it is really nice. It is the other great alternative to braces because I never wanted to pick braces anyway because I was too scared that they were gonna hurt my teeth. But Invisalign, they weren't that bad. They did shift my teeth. It did feel like they, my teeth were shifting when I had my, the Invisalign on, but it's, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought. And, I was, and the good part about Invisalign is that I, I, I'm able to take them off whenever I need to eat or brush my teeth. Thank God, you can't do that with braces. Nope, you can't do that with braces, sadly. Thank God for Invisalign. Never thought we needed a second alternative to getting your teeth straight. So, anyway, that's all for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.